everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. The end of the day. Uh, here's video two, part two on the board book challenge for October. Uh, it's been kind of wacky around here because my computer crashed, but um, hopefully we are up and running. So I will try to keep up with you during the challenge. Yay! Uh, I want to tell Deborah thank you. She sent a generous contribution to our village. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. I hope to get my thank you notes written this week. Yay! And it's just Tuesday. So, is it Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for your Patreon support, uh, for your Amazon orders, for your contributions. Uh, if you're looking for a workshop coming up, uh, my website has some information. Uh, my webmaster is uh, out of commissions just for a few days. Uh, she'll be back and she'll be posting more workshops that are coming up, which is very exciting. I hope you can join me. I hope you can join us. And until then, see you on the table. I'm going to call the backgrounds done. All right, let's jump right back on the table and start our second video on our board book. I have some gesso. I am diluting that. And I'm going to paint all the pages with diluted gesso. Drying in between, which is the hard part. Well, you know I didn't wait till it was dry, so I just went through and just painted every page with the diluted gesso, separating the pages, and I'm going to let that dry. I'm bringing some sandpaper in, and I'm just going to rough up the pages. I'm going to go through the whole book and just rough up the pages a little bit while I wait for the coffee to brew. <laughs> I'm up before the coffee's made this morning. I want to show you the difference. This one is sanded and this one is not. So you can see how the, there's still some of that nice cloudiness left. But we brought a, a lot of the texture back. I'm going to put a drop of the hand sanitizer on there and then just wipe all the dust off. I'm bringing in a rubber stamp. Uh, I was looking for some words, but I can't find them, so this map is going to be absolutely perfect. Can you see that? It's just enough of the lines and stuff to create some noise. So I'm going to go through the book and just stamp randomly on the pages with the map rubber stamp. And stays on. This is coming alive nicely. I just wanted to bring it in a little bit closer, see if you could see the noise that I created with the rubber stamps. It's subtle, and it's there. I went through the entire book and did that, added some noise. Next, I'm going to the center of the book now, because I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I have an idea. I'm going to put down some matte medium, put down a piece of underpants, just do that, oh, just a couple of things on each page. Mine have numbers, yours can have pictures or words, artist choice. Of course. All right, I have bits of paper on each page. I'm going to let that dry. Then I'm going to tear them off like this, which I think is uber yummy. Now I'm going to go through and just tear those papers off. And you have no control as to what's going to happen with those papers. So just go for it. I 
after I rip the paper off, I'm going over it with some of the matte medium. Gonna let that dry. Yoga done, shower done. I'm making circles. I'm a horrible circle maker, so I do have a cutter, a circle cutter. I got this gorgeous paper from Claire, I'm pretty sure, in Delaware, so thank you for that. So I'm gonna pop a circle out. Then I'm gonna fold the circle in half. Put that in about halfway. Pop that. Then I have a gorgeous donut and a gorgeous donut hole. So make enough of those so that you can play with those. I'm gonna go to the center of my book. I guess the reason I go start at the center is so I get a little bit of practice before I hit the, the front of the book. So that's kind of an interesting fact to learn about myself. My intention is not to leave these here, but to have them be masks. I'm bringing in some light apricot. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. And I'm going to dilute that. Paint those two pages that I have those circles on. Try to remember where I put those circles and lift them off. And let that dry. All right, so what I learned is I want a lot more of the masks on a page. So good to know. I'm just using the same masks. And I'm bringing in the Mars Orange. I want just a little bit more color than we got last time with the, uh, the peach. Still diluting that. Let's see how this is. That's better. Remove those masks. Let that dry. That's more what I'm looking for. Enjoy the journey. Put your masks down on each page. Paint the page. Remove the masks and let the page dry. Go through your book. So it truly is the more masks the better because that lets that yummy background show through. I have lots of masks on here. Let that dry. 
as you move forward, these become quite saturated. Your masks become quite saturated and you can just remove them from one page and put them onto the next. I have all the pages done except for the front cover. Thought I'd bring you back for that. I'm not even using any adhesive at all. It's just these pieces of uh, paper that are soaking wet. <laughs> Peel those off, let it dry. Save these, we may use them later. I'm bringing in the Distress Oxide Fossiled Amber. Just rubbing it on those pages. Okay. I'm going to bring in Pearl Sapphire Blue. We'll see. Ooh, look at that. Dilute that way down, and I'm going to add some blue splatters to the page. I'll let this dry and continue through the book. I'm going to call the backgrounds done. Now it'll probably take me one day per page to uh, create this book, but we have the whole month of October to do that so we can take our time. I'm not quite sure what my theme is. Uh, Lindy Trenholm did circus and I'm so attracted to that, but we shall see. All right, your turn. Go finish your backgrounds. Go create. Go play. Go have fun. Once again, I hope you're staying through the credits here. So here's my uh, jelly plate. And Courtney said, have I tried... I just hit the camera with my hat. <laughs> have I tried the packing tape to remove, to clean my jelly plate? So I said, oh my goodness, I have to go try it right now. And I put my computer down and I came in and I tried it. And it removes a lot of the stuff. Look at that. <laughs>